the United States Playing Card Company, established in 1867, produces and distributes many brands of playing cards, including Bicycle, B, Hoyle, Chem, and others, plus novelty and custom cards, and other playing card accessories such as poker chips. The company was once based in Cincinnati, Ohio, but is now headquartered in the Cincinnati suburb of Erlanger, Kentucky. It has been a subsidiary of Jardin Corporation since 2004. History The company was founded in 1867 as Russell, Morgan & Co., a printing company. In 1881, Colonel Robert J. Morgan recruited a talented young inventor from New York named Samuel J. Murray, whose patented inventions increased the output of cards at the company's Norwood, Ohio plant fourfold and cut labor costs by 66%. Murray also created a two-sided enameling machine. The company began printing four brands of playing cards in 1881, Tigers, Sportsmen's Army and Navy, and Congress. They began printing bicycle cards, which would become their most popular line. In 1885, business boomed and in 1891 Russell, Morgan, and Co. changed its name to the United States Printing Company. The playing card business was successful enough that it was spun off as a separate business in 1894, as the United States Playing Card Company. The same year, it began its history of acquiring smaller playing card manufacturers when it acquired the Standard Playing Card Company, the Perfection Playing Card Company, and the New York Consolidated Card Company. Acquisitions continued throughout its history. Andrew Dotary in 1907, Russell Playing Card Co. In 1929, Hera California, S.A. in 1986, Arco Playing Card Company in 1987, Hoyle Products in 2001, and finally Chem Playing Cards in 2004. In 1930, USPCC subsidiaries Consolidated Card Co., Standard Playing Card Co., and Andrew Doherty emerged into Consolidated Doherty which continues to produce cards from all three brands including B and Tally Ho. Meanwhile, the company would itself be acquired several times in its history, starting with Diamond International in 1969, Jessup and Lamont in 1982, Frontenac in 1989 and then a return to self-ownership in 1994 before finally becoming a subsidiary of Jardin in 2004. The USPCC has historically supported wartime soldiers, starting with the inexpensive picket brand of cards during World War I. During World War II, USPCC manufactured spotter cards so soldiers can identify enemy units and cooperated with the U.S. Government in creating clandestine decks given to POWs. These cards could be moistened and peeled apart to reveal escape maps. Product line. The company offers several card brands, including Aristocrat. This is the type of playing card used at many casinos. It has a similar diamond back design to the B brand cards. The more popular design available to the public has a bordered back similar to Bicycle or Arco decks. Aviator introduced in 1927 in commemoration of Charles Lindbergh's transatlantic flight in the spirit of St. Louis. Aviator playing cards feature a boarded, monotone back design of predominantly circles. They are lower quality and less expensive compared to B and bicycle cards and are available in the same general assortment of back colors, card sizes, and configurations. The card stock has a smooth finish, unlike the air cushion finish used in the company's other brands. BB Playing Cards are a casino card brand. They were first manufactured by the New York Consolidated Card Company in 1892, hence the number 92 on the Ace of Spades. The USPCC acquired the company two years later, but it continued to operate independently even after merging with Andrew Doherty and Standard Playing Card Company to form Consolidated Doherty. Standard B Playing Cards have a diamond back, typically blue or red, though casinos frequently use customized B cards featuring a logo added to the backs.
Unlike bicycle cards, B cards usually have borderless backs, making the facing of any card that is even partially revealed clearly visible. However, the standard diamond back of the card is very regular and low profile compared to other back designs, which simplifies bottom dealing and other forms of sleight of hand. Bicycle Bicycle Playing Cards are the USPCC's signature brand of playing cards. Since 1885, the bicycle brand has been manufactured by the United States Printing Company, which, in 1894, became the United States Playing Card Company of Cincinnati. The typical bicycle deck is a standard-issue deck of cards consisting of 52 traditional French design playing cards, two jokers, an information card, and a card describing poker ranks. As with most decks, the first standard card of the deck is the uniquely stylized Ace of Spades. The bicycle trademark is usually also printed on the Ace of Spades. The type number of a bicycle deck can be found both on the bottom of the deck box and on the stone of the Joker artwork. Bicycle playing cards are sold in a variety of decks featuring different cards, back designs, face designs, and sizes. Any of the aforementioned are traditionally available with red and blue backs, but other back colors are also available, as well as a ghost deck that is entirely black and white except for the corner pips of the diamonds and the hearts. Consumer paper versions of the plastic chem type WSOP decks are sold under the Bicycle brand. In 2010, Bicycle Playing Cards released special 125th anniversary decks which include a redesigned rear side, redesigned Ace of Spades, and 1885-2010 to written under the numbers on the corner on each card. Bicycle Playing Cards are commonly used in card magic and flourishes. In addition to specialty decks specifically designed for magic, cardistry or purely aesthetic reasons, Bicycle also make other kinds of non-standard card decks, such as a gaff deck with an assortment of unusually altered cards that can be used with regular cards for jokes. Magicians such as Lennar Green, Ricky J, Darrell, David Blaine, Paul Daniels, Dynamo, Cyril Takayama, Chris Angel, and others have all used and performed effects with bicycle playing cards. Bicycle cards can have an air cushion finish which improves handling. Congress one of the first four brand of cards introduced by the company in 1881, when it was still known as Russell, Morgan, and Co. Congress was printed under two stocks, their standard No. 404 and the deluxe No. 606 which had gold edges. Congress is currently the USPCC's signature brand name for bridge cards and accessories. Congress cards come in an assortment of back designs. Each Congress deck consists of the 52 standard cards, two jokers, and an information card describing bridge scoring. Congress cards are now typically sold in coordinated sets of two decks to facilitate the common bridge practice of alternating decks between hands. Chem USPCC purchased Chem cards in 2004. Chem cards are made from cellulose acetate and are able to withstand washing and still be playable. Chem cards are also available to the consumer with various back colors and designs in both poker and bridge sizes. In 2007, Cambridge cards were adopted as the official cards of the World Series of Poker. Streamline Streamline came to the USPCC from the Arco Playing Card Company, which the USPCC acquired in 1987. It is a low-end brand of playing cards, similar to Aviator and Maverick, with a boarded monotone back and a smooth plastic-coated finish. Tally Ho Tally Ho was originally a product of Andrew Doherty, one of the earliest American card manufacturers, introduced in 1885, the same year Bicycle was introduced. Doherty's company was acquired by the USPCC in 1907, bringing Tally Ho into its assortment. It would then be merged with New York Consolidated Card Company and Standard Playing Card Company to form Consolidated Doherty. 
Tally Ho cards come in standard red or blue colors, just like the bicycle brand, but has two choices of back design known as the fan back or the circle back. Magic stores also have access to a black option, with two gaff cards in place of the typical advertising cards. Tally Ho cards also come in pale blue or green backs, with limited availability. Due to the unique finish, the distinct designs and the limited availability of the cards, they are popular for card flourishes. They were a favorite of magician Di Vernon, and are common in videos of him performing tricks. They also make an appearance in the card game scene of the movie The Sting, as the preferred deck of Doyle Lonergan. In the Plant You Now, Dig You Later episode of Gilligan's Island, Tally Ho cards are also used in the poker game between Mr. Howell and the Skipper. Discontinued brands Army and Navy One of the first four brand of cards introduced by the company in 1881, when it was still known as Russell, Morgan, and Co. Army and Navy were originally two separate brands although they shared the same two stock numbers. Their standard no. 303 and the Deluxe No. 505 which had gold edges. The two brands were then merged into the single Army and Navy brand in 1884. True to the name of the Joker and Ace of Spades of these brands tended to feature American military imagery, which changed over the years of its production. Pickett Stock No. 515 This was a limited edition of playing cards printed for sale to soldiers during World War I. They were of a low quality so as to be inexpensive and easily bought by the soldiers. Printing ceased after the armistice. Poker Peak USPCC debuted a new line of playing cards called Poker Peak at the 2007 World Series of Poker. The face of each card has the rank and suit at all four corners, at a 45 degrees angle to the card's edges, and the size of the traditional face designs are reduced and flanked by jumbo index ranks. The design was an attempt to make it easier for players to read their whole cards while at the same time making it more difficult for anyone but that player to discern their hand. However, the new cards were largely pulled from play and replaced with decks having a more traditional face layout due to complaints from players about the tiny indices and confusion between the 6 and the 9. The Poker Peak face design was integrated into the Paper Bicycle Pro series. Steamboat the fifth brand of cards introduced by the USPCC, this brand was introduced to meet a growing demand for inexpensive playing cards. Until they were discontinued early in the 21st century, Steamboat was the company's least expensive line of playing cards. Nintendo Nintendo was originally a playing card company in Kyoto. In 1958, Nintendo's then-president Hiroshi Yamauchi visited the U.S. playing card company's office and factory. He was shocked at the humble size of the office, despite USPCC being the top-selling playing card company nationally in the U.S. and also worldwide. Yamauchi understood Nintendo's limited potential if it continued to operate only in the playing card business and so he famously began to diversify away from playing cards into other types of gaming. 